Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on Autodesk 123D, which is free software you can download for absolutely nothing. Last time I showed you how to use the loft feature to make complex curves, which are basically a piece that bends in two directions at once. And we did a piece of custom costume armor. So today I'm going to make a helmet. It's going to be modeled after one of the Daft Punk helmets in the film Tron. So first of all I'm going to put down a primitive of a box which I'm going to make 40 by 40 by 20. So let's get that on the grid there. And then we're going to round off the front using a two point arc tool. So we'll click on the sketch plane, click the center point, the outer point, make sure that's 180 degrees. And then we're going to use the split solid tool to select the box and select the line to use a, make a cutting tool. And we can delete the outside and the sketch and now we've got this rather nicely uh, rounded front. Okay, now we're going to use the revolve tool and best is to demonstrate what happens if we select this profile and then select the axis as this back line and you can you can draw another sketch line to do that and then revolve it around all of a sudden it pretty much takes shape so I'm going to revolve that around to about 120 degrees and I um, think you can see where I'm going with this so um, that's only part of it on the helmet there's um, a ridge around this point and then the back half is slightly smaller. So what I'm going to do is take this, copy and paste it with Control C and Control V, which uh, apparently doesn't do anything, but it actually gives you this move thing. And if you move the piece, you'll notice we've actually got two copies. So I'm just going to move that back. Some amount, so it's on the grid. Um, and then I'm going to turn that round. So if we select the object and select move again, we get these rotating tools. And if I click on that one and do 180, we can turn it round. And I want to make this one slightly smaller. So um, if we select the object and we go to this menu, transform, we get the scale option. Um, and we can just make that slightly smaller all round, or we can make it smaller in specific dimensions. So I'm just going to make it 0.95. Okay, maybe 0.9, which uh, reduces it in all dimensions. It's slightly off the ground now, so we probably just need to put that back down until it's uh, so we're on the ground, and then we can slide that back in to make the back half. In fact, it's still not quite right, so if I scale it again and select non-uniform, we can scale up the z-axis to an amount just to make it fit. Let's just slide that back up. So that's probably more like it. And we can group those two objects together using the group tool by selecting them and selecting both of them and pressing enter. And that makes that into one solid object. So let's just finish off that stage by coloring it in gold. There we go. So now I'm gonna try and put the black panel part on this, which is sort of like the visor. Um, so that's going to be quite tricky, so we need to make a separate object so we can colour it in a different colour. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this, cut a piece out of it, and then stick that piece back in. So let's make a copy of this. And uh, let's just move that this way. And then I'm going to use the polyline to cut the piece out this way so 
I think it probably needs to be from about here. Something like this. We use the split solid to cut that piece out. So let's delete the sketch and the rest. And that gives us just that part. And we also need to make it slightly skinnier. So if we look at it from the very bottom. And we can use the rectangle this time. Cut a piece out. Again, we'll split the solid using that splitting entity. And we should be able to delete the sides and the sketch to give just the section what we want. Right, so let's make that another colour just so we can see the difference. Um, let's see, titanium, and let's just have that in black because that's the way it should be. For now that will do. And, and if we move that piece back across, And we move it out slightly, just 0.1 in each direction. Point 0.1, there we go. And now we've got that nice uh, sort of visor on there. In fact, it's not quite right, so let's just tweak that. Another point 0.1 in each direction. The other thing I need to do is, um, I don't think this is quite tall enough, so I'm just going to pull the bottom out, just by another five, to give it a bit more height. Right, let's put some ears on, which I'm just going to make out of boxes, so something like Probably something like that. And we'll just again use the two point arc tool. Let's get a 180 and we'll split the solid using that arc. Um, then we can go and uh, move that in. So somewhere there. Um, it's not quite right, so let's go and scale that down. Well, it's not quite right, but you get the idea anyway. Um, we can carry on tweaking around with that to, uh, you know, make it the size we want or whatever. Okay, we want to make another one of those, so we can go and copy and paste that and move the other one, move the copy over. So that's just using Control C and Control V again and moving the copy. So I seem to have gone off the grid quite a lot here, but anyway, let's just uh, manually adjust that. If we want to get it perfect, we can use the measuring tool to measure between the two points. So that one's 6.1 mil, and this one is, oh, it's exactly the same. So there we go. Otherwise we can make minute adjustments. So let's uh, 
go and color those gold as well or in fact if we combine them with the main object by using combine and holding control and clicking on them they all turn gold okay I don't think my visor is quite right actually so um, I'm going to try and make it slightly wider so I'm going to um, let's ungroup all the objects and select just the outside and hide it and then what I'm going to do is just pull the outsides of these out a bit maybe about 5mm 4mm something like that and then go and put the other solids back with the show solids function uh, that's a bit closer to how it should be. So obviously we can carry on adding features here, we can carry on sketching, uh, you know we can go and put a, a circle in the ear wherever it's supposed to be and then we can carry on extruding that out to get the other features and we can get the edge and make a nice chamfer on it or uh, however it's supposed to be and we can put those features on all over. So that's all I'm going to show you for now, but basically you should have a go and experiment and uh, look out in my channel for more tutorials.